Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Factorio as we kind of like plod along, working up towards robots. And there are some things that we definitely need. First of all, of course, you have to have a robo port if you want robots, but we can't make robots until we get the flying robot frames for which we need electric engine units, for which we need lubricant. And then we also need batteries, which we're going to need to start getting some sulfuric acid to arrive here. So that's part of the process. But we also noticed that our copper is trailing off. And we just need more oil in general. Like, I just don't have enough oil. So I'm going to go over and I want to make some radars. I'm going to make, like, five radars and start just dropping them around so that we can map the game out a little bit better now um i'm also going to make five solar panels they output 60 kilowatts of power um they consume 300 so this was a great tip that i just want to show off we don't have batteries yet to make the accumulators so these won't work during the night time but we can make solar panels by hand here and use these to power rem um, the radars without hooking them up to our grid so that like we can go out on the map and just drop a bunch of radars so that we can continue scouring the map for the resources that we need. Because like if I zoom in, you know, yeah, there's stone and there's iron, but you know copper is not that great now i did just upgrade this so eventually this will start you know to boost our copper production we can actually go and see visibly like where the bottleneck is with our copper if there is one so we're getting this coming down here and uh this is sort of problematic that the copper is only going um, on one side of the track but it's not that bad so right now these are making plates and they're dumping them over here and we can actually just continue this up so let's do that let me just you know for the time being it's kind of like copy this structure i'm going to push Control c and i'm just going to copy uh as much of this as i can and just put another one like right here and then what this does is let me get this going the right way there Okay, so this will allow us to, um, oh, I don't have any stone furnaces. Here, make some stone furnaces, please. Well, I need stone. I put my stone away. Who wouldn't, though? Okay. There. There. And make me some stone furnaces so we can get this going. This will just help us boost the the copper a little bit. You could see I don't have like a super powerful engine for generating copper right now. Oh, I'm still making these solar panels. Yeah, solar panels take forever. That's what's going on. All right, so in the meantime, let's just drop uh, these. All right. <laughs> now we're out of these. Amusing. All right, what about power poles? Do I have these? Yeah. All right, that should do that. Okay, now we've got these. Okay. And what are you waiting on? Fuel? Oh, these are going the wrong way. My fault. There you go. That's right. Okay, so... I need to make some more or pick up some more. You know, these are easy to craft. 
And we'll just kind of go ahead and say, hey, bring these in here. Like that. There you go. All right. So now we have a bunch more. Uh, you're not getting anything. I'm not I'm not grabbing anything with you. That's a mistake. Here. Take some science, will you? You too. There you go. There's all your science. You're not getting uh, all of the science either because you don't have the long... No, you have... You've got this coming to you, the blue science. You don't have the green science. I didn't uh, do this part correctly. Oh, I was pa I was daisy chaining them down. I see. Yeah. Well, it's exposing that we have a. We're not making enough green science, and we're not making enough green science because we're not getting enough transport belts, and we're not getting enough transport belts. because oh there's a problem right here no no darn yeah okay I see Sometimes you have to... I don't... I need this to go in only one lane. Now I can pocket these back in the crate, but... Alright, there goes the green science again. Goodness gracious. Okay. So anyway, we finished mining productivity too, which is fantastic. And let's see, lab research speed, that's okay. Advanced material processing for faster and more flexible furnaces. Yeah, this is, I like electric furnaces, honestly. Um, do it. Okay. And you have a problem with your, you're not getting power? But, oh, there's, that must not be built is what the deal is. There you go. All right. Hopefully we're getting more plates. Yeah, this is actually backing up on plates. Okay. So copper plates are somewhat improved. Now we need to check out where's our car. Did I leave it somewhere? Oh, I must have left it here. I must have like ridden on the train or something. Or on the conveyor belt. Well, well. Yep, there's that green science going. Now, blue science is having some issues because... What are you missing? Red boards. Red boards are having issues because... They're just slow to produce. So really all we have to do is just extend this out and make more red boards with uh, some more of this. So red boards just need plastic, copper, and green. So we're kind of feeding this along this way. And if we wanted to extend this, which we do, just go like this, like this, and we just copy everything here. Mm. That one electric pole is in the way. Alright, that's fine. I'll just move this up then if it's going to be 
if it's going to be an issue. Like that. Okay. Good. All right. We need more assemblers. How about that? But before we do that, uh, we need to uh, massively edit this section so that we have uh, things out of the way as much as possible. Okay. All right. Did I automate assemblers at some point? I did. They're right here. Let's go pick these up. We ran out. My inventory is full. I have far too much coal. I do not need this. So what do you do when you got too much coal? You just pick it up and you just kind of try to drop it in every furnace that you can, but those don't need it. These are backed up too much to need it. None of these want it. Fine. Keep it. Okay. I'm going to go here then. And uh, I'm just going to place a box. And I'm going to open this box. And I'm just going to put in coal. I'll keep one stack. Or one, like a little bit. One stone. That's fine. Great. That's done. Now, uh, what we can do is just start boosting up our robots. Uh, we can get better distribution, process uranium, but I want like, uh, we can't actually get those. We need purple science. Advanced electronics, we'll need that eventually. Low density structures, yep, we'll need that. Okay, go ahead, get advanced electronics, that's fine. Okay. And let me pick up these assemblers. There we go. That should be plenty. So what we're going to do is just... This is why we built the structure this way. So that it's moving up, up, up. So that we can just kind of like expand this, extend this as much as we need. So I'll just start at least penciling in the correct assemblers just to boost up the speed a little bit. And then we're going to go out and explore. Oh, these aren't going the right way here. If you are, like, sometimes they'll be going the wrong direction. And just make sure that when you're placing these uh, to get them going the right direction, just push Q to bring that up for yourself. Okay. All right, so this needs copper wire. So we give you that. And this. You need power. There you go. Power, power. Am I out of power? I am. You need copper wire, which you're not getting because you need power. And you're not getting copper plates because I didn't give you any. 
There you go. Now everything's coming to life. We got it. Okay. So we need to go and just start dropping down some scanning. I'm going to go ahead and say, look, right here we've got the lubricant coming in. So this lubricant uh, we can use for the production of the electric engine units. So we need to make engines. We need to bring in the lubricant. That's the first step. But before we get to that, I'm going to start because like that's going to take a while for us to mobilize that. And while we're doing that, I'm going to start just dropping down some radars because we need to find more oil and more copper. And you could just drive around. That's something that I do. I'm stuck. Get out of my way. All right. So, for example, you see right over here, you know, this isn't a bad place for a radar. I'll extend this. I've already connected to the grid over here. So what I can do is just take one of these radars and just, you know, plop it down like right there. And there it goes. And it's going to start eventually searching around. And remember, in this game, the map is infinite. So it looks like all these are the borders right here. New, new, new. There's more. All right, I'm going to run up these train tracks and just pray that I'm not struck by my train. We're going to see what it's doing. It is trying to fill up. Oh, it looks like it can't offload coal anymore. What is your condition? Um, it, it needs to get rid of coal and there's, uh, it's full. That's pretty awesome though. So what I'm going to do is we have a temporary issue uh, to address with this. We've done this before. Oh, we finished this. Great. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, low density structures. So where can we put all this coal? Well, one thing we can do, and this is haphazard, but here we are, is we can just take it. and just fill this up. With whatever crates I have. And I'm gonna put it on both sides. And this is like, you know, this is because I'm just giving too much to this. We can also look at how much is in here and just move this along at like 50%. You know, if we wanted to just change the uh, what's going on here so we could be like, you know, um, coal is, you know, less than like, we could set a number that's larger, like, you know, 400, something like that. And then there it goes. Don't have to do it that way, but anyway, I'm going to drop in over here at the far edge. I'm going to shift three, put a radar like right there. Start scanning. Great. And here's my car, and we're going to drive around.
And I'm going to actually... Whoop, I hit my own pipe. That was... I need to get out and fix that pipe. That was embarrassing. There we go. All right. And what I want to do is just drive over here to the left. Get out. This tree's got to go. It's gone. All right. And I'm just going to zoom way, way out and just drive. And this will start to uncover the map. What you want to do is uh, just make sure you don't hit any biters. Like right here, those StarCraft dudes, just get out. Just don't hit them. We're in peaceful mode. Don't need to mess with them. All right, there's some iron that we found. Okay, sure. Here's some water. And we're just going to explore. See if we can find some good stuff. More biters. We're going to get away from that. All right. So now, at this point, even more biters. And more biters. Stay clear of it. Do not hit him. Oh, boy. You can make them hostile, I believe, if you hit them. With your train or your car or whatever. Here's a bunch of iron. I mean, like, iron is not our problem. Right? We're finding that fine. Anyway, I'm going to just sit right here. I'm going to get out. And I'm going to put down a radar right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just drop. solar panels now these um are not plugged into an electric network here plug them in now i hilariously i don't have any copper cables oh my god i don't have any copper plates i can't actually make i'm gonna have to use like the wrong stuff for this but it'll work i do not use these big boys for this it's a complete waste but i'm just doing this uh so that there we go. Now, you can see that this thing, it's daytime. So this is getting just about as much power as it needs. Uh, these each produce 60. This needs 300, so 5 should do it. And you can see, look, that square right there, that is what our radar just did. So you can just kind of drive around and drop in some more of these. We are looking for oil and we are looking for copper. Remember, this game is enormous. Infinite. So, you know, just keep looking. All right, I'd like to try to get some of this scan. There's a huge lake here, unfortunately. Stay away from this. I mean, iron all day. It's not bad. You need iron. There's the copper. Fantastic. Oh, it's so much, too. That's great. Okay. So now we know, like, when we need copper, we can come down here. Okay, I'm going to pop out and I am going to drop down uh, a radar here and then I'm going to kind of get out these solar panels and let's see where can I put this that will hook up and let's go And it'll just scan slower, you know, if we don't give it some more. But we will. And then at nighttime, it really won't scan at all. But there we go. Alright, so now we have found copper at the very least. And are working... To scan some more with some radars around so that we can uncover here we go more of the map we're exploring it 
just find the resources that we need. Spider, spider, spiders. go down here we'll just head back to our base oh boy without running into a cliff yeah oh boy my poor pipeline For the sake of everyone, I, sh I should not drive my car anymore. I'm going to leave it right here. And I'm going to just run along the track. This is fast enough. Okay. So what we want to make, we've got this lubricant coming in, are electric engines, but first we need to make regular engines to get this going. Now we have regular engines over here, but do we have enough to ship out is the question. And you can see with our engine production that not really. You're not getting enough steel, which is confusing. You're not getting anything that you need. Okay, the low density structures are done. That's cool. All right, so we need, um, we definitely want both purple and yellow science researched at some point. Um, you know, breaking force for trains is fine. Lasers, okay, whatever. Uh, but let's go ahead and get the uh, exoskeleton equipment so we can run faster and don't, then don't have to use the car. And let me see here. So what are you getting? Oh, you're messed up because you can't even put them, the engines out because this is going the wrong way. Oh my god. I extended this and uh, put these the wrong way. That's hilarious. So you always have to check yourself. You'll be like, why is this not working? Because these are rotated the wrong way. So now it is sending engines out, which is correct. But I probably want, um, instead of doing this... Oh, no, no, these are right. Oops. That was right. I was right about that. Oh, my God. Sometimes looking at my own insanity can... Uh... No, what I want is I don't have any inserters grabbing the engines out of here. Hey, exoskeleton research done. So we definitely want this. So how do we get that, right? So we want exoskeleton and... It's in the combat tab, all of these utilities. And Exoskeleton takes electric engines, blue plates, which is annoying. Um, but we'll get there. So, no, what I need right here is uh, I just need regular inserters grabbing these out. I was not sending these along. There we go. Here come the engines. And now the engines go over here to live in the land of blue science and I was bringing engines down here so that we can use them to make the electric engines so this is better we actually have pipes steel and gears but the steel is uh, running a lot slower than it should because the iron plates are starting to uh, not work but I've got all the steel down here 
so maybe I should just bring up this line and tie it in with what we've got. Not a bad idea. All right, here we go. All right, here comes the steel. And we need steel on this second lane, I guess. Wait, you're putting steel out here. Are you? Here comes some steel. And then I have that splitter. But it's just doing... It's not doing anything that fancy. Okay. Then here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring this over. Drop it like that. And here comes the steel. This will get our engines going. Okay. So now all engines should be more regularly sent through. And we have engines coming over here. And we can just take these engines and start to work in this area. Like this. And now we want electric engines so we need assemblers that are going to make electric engines now this is going to require fluid you see this assembler actually has a fluid intake and it, you can rotate where this is and we're going to put it on this left side and it needs green boards and engines so uh, we've got green boards being built directly right here and what I could do you know if I've got enough copper wire <laughs> is borrow these mm, no I think I, I think I'll just do this I think I will just uh, this is a yellow line okay It's going to put an underground belt right here, like that. Oh, that's not right. There we go. Give me an underground. Yeah, it was too long. That's what happened. Okay. Like this. All right. And then we'll split this copper up here. And I could take this copper... And I could start using this to make wire that we can dump in here. But I'm going to need a pipeline that's kind of like taking this. And then there we go. There's lubricant going into you. And then you need, uh, you know, an inserter. Okay, that's correct. And then what we want is like. these to do this and move up like this and I need you to make wire and then I just need this to go in here and this to go like that mm, kind of it won't work with the pipe right here Pipes are hard to work with. What I need is... Uh, maybe? Nah, this doesn't help me. Yeah. I can't feed this directly... 
because I need the pipe to basically go here. So what we need to do instead is just this operation has to get moved. It's fine. All right, I need to go pick up some more power poles anyway. Okay, and then you can see that our iron plates are fading. So we're going to need that. The copper is like on one side of the belt. It's a problem, but not all over. All right, so give me these uh, power poles. Yeah, that's great. Oh, and where am I making... Uh, Here, yeah, give me this. Okay. So, what we want over here is to figure out, okay, we've got to manage the pipe. We've got to manage the fact that it needs both engines and wire. So, we're going to just rethink this. This was logical, but instead, I'm going to redesign this. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put the pipe on this side. Okay. And then just remember, like we need the pipe to continue. And then this, uh, these engines. Now we can actually do this again, where we have like this right here. And then, you know, we just have this kind of like red belt of plates going up. And then this kind of goes in here and creates wire. And then we have a power line in here that's kind of like starting this process. And then this is passing the wire on directly. And this power line is going to be hooked up to, of course, this power. All right. And then we also need engines to come in here. So how are we going to give you engines, right? Well, if we run a long-handed inserter here and then take engines like this, now it works. Okay, so you are getting everything you need except for green boards. This is better. Oh. <laughs> Derp, you don't need wires. You need green boards. So, oh boy. I'm close. This is close. I just need to move this over a little bit. We're going to still do the exact same structure. It's just going to be like this. We need an extra assembling step in there. Okay. All right. So it'll be like this and like this. And now we can kind of say, okay, go up like this there and then give this and this and this well kind of there you go and then you're going to be green boards and then you're going to be wire and then green boards also need iron plates so yeah okay bear with me everybody this is how I do things in Factorio. I have to kind of... I can't, like, visualize it without putting it down. And it just takes a second to get everything right. But I actually need to do it this so that I can bring up plates and have a plate track running right here. Like, it would be basically, like, plates right here. And then what we do is we have plates coming off, going in here. And then we have a red taking and putting out like this. And this would be green boards. And then, um, you know, this goes here, except we're going to make wire. And then you give wire, you go like that. Okay, sort of. Okay. Now all we need to do, if this wasn't hard enough, is get iron plates up here somehow. This is probably the easiest way to do that.
We did it. Kind of. And now we are making our first electric engine. What's the only problem with this? I'm not sending these anywhere. So I need to put them out somewhere. Uh, but that's difficult at the moment because of the pipe. So I can just take an inserter and put them out on the top, but then it makes it hard to uh, really scale this up correctly. Like, it, it would be easier if I could just pull them out to the side. Now, we can't use a long-handed inserter and then, like, put them over here because this belt is filled up with engines. We could make this belt one lane and then use the other lane. Or we could do it this way, which is not as tidy. So what we would have is a lane that kind of like comes out here. And we need this. And then this would just send these out. No, we want these going the other way. I don't need it coming all the way over here. This is this is unnecessary. Let's send this the other direction. So we'll send these like this, and then just have this belt running up here like this. And this should be okay. Or, you know, we can put the belt over here wherever we need it. And then we can copy this. And uh, we will have it just dump onto this lane from here. And then we'll just control C all of uh, this to be here. Run this up here. Run this up here. Feed this, 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 and that. Oop. Oh my god. That was awful. There. Okay. Not okay. There. And then you need an inserter right there. And then now we are slowly but surely uh, you need engines right. Building up engines. So this is what it's like in Factorio when you're getting stuff. It gets just get way more complicated where it's like, okay, I need electric engines which require liquid and two complicated ingredients themselves. So I have to start thinking about all sorts of ways to shuttle these ingredients over, deal with pipes which are super annoying, and start producing these advanced materials. But we're getting there. Now we are actually making this. And what we can do is, for example, uh, we just control C like all of this right here. And then we can just build another one right here. This is probably fine, right? Yeah, like that. And we ghost this in, and we are getting another place to build engines, and we just keep going up. There's wasted space, but it gets the job done. Remember, it ain't beautiful, but it's getting the job slowly done. And, oh, well, we're done with research. Um, let's go ahead and research some more. So I will research, uh, for example, Purple Science. Sure, great, go ahead. All right, awesome. So everybody, we built radars all over. We're starting to scan out. We did find some copper for ourselves, which is tremendous. Oh, and this is actually some crude oil. Thank goodness. Okay, so here's a good um, crude oil uh, section. It's not great, but we can uh, ship this over. We can just run a pipe over here and just start to integrate this into our systems. 
Uh, or we could even run a pipe up here and just keep using this if we wanted. We are getting electric engines, and we're doing beautifully. I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and useful. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and for all of your help from you advanced Factorio players. Take care.